But we begin this evening with the latest on Hurricane Milton, which strengthened today to a mighty and dangerous Category 5 storm. I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Kim Kaluni. And the storm, like Helene, late last month is poised to make landfall along Florida's Gulf Coast. People living in the storm's projected path have spent the last few days filling up sandbags and boarding up their homes. Many Rhode Islanders with ties to Florida are also in full preparation mode, taking some of the last flights to Tampa today. 12 News reporter Sheena Loschuto spent the day at TF Green and continues our coverage live now from Warwick. Sheena. Well, it's business as usual here at the airport, but we met a lot of travelers going to Florida and all of them have Milton on their minds, telling us the preparations for the hurricane will start as soon as they land. On the heels of Helene, here at TF Green International Airport, we met several people heading back home to Florida, bracing for Hurricane Milton. A lot of our friends lost everything. So I, I spent a lot of time cleaning out people's houses and stuff like that. We um, board up all of the windows. We do sandbags, tarps, um, make sure you take everything from outside, bring it all in. Riona Clemens of Bristol and her dog Cooper are flying to Tampa. They plan to drive to Charlotte County where she has a home. And um, we have elderly neighbors who are family. She's also a real estate agent and will be checking in on her listings in the Sunshine State. Can't catch a break. Oh my God, Florida's been getting whacked. Preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. I'm more worried about the people versus the material things. Those are replaceable. Thinking of all of those in the path of Milton. You can replace your roof, you can replace your house, but you can't always survive the water. And we were here all day long talking with passengers. We also met some travelers coming back from Orlando. They tell us that they scheduled their flights. They changed the schedule of their flights to beat that weather. Reporting live in Warwick tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. First at six, we're tracking Hurricane Milton, which has exploded in strength and is heading toward Florida. It's threatening parts of Florida's Gulf Coast that are still recovering from Helene less than two weeks ago. And that includes the Tampa Bay area where Milton could make landfall on Wednesday. Workers are rushing to pick up debris left over from Helene before Milton arrives. Several counties are under evacuation orders leading to big traffic backups on highways. President Joe Biden has approved an emergency declaration for the state and FEMA says it has hundreds of personnel who were already in Florida responding to Helene and previous hurricanes. I think this is the fourth or fifth hurricane in the last three years to take a direct hit um, on the western coast of Florida. So we have um, a lot of personnel that we are redirecting to be able to support initial response needs for this event for Hurricane Milton. FEMA says they're also bringing in search and rescue teams from the Coast Guard, Air Force, and the Department of the Interior. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo found several Floridians in Rhode Island expecting to be impacted by the storm, as well as Rhode Islanders with ties to the Sunshine State. She continues our coverage now from TF Green. The travelers I met today heading to Tampa have already landed there, so their preparations are now underway. Many saw the impacts of Helene, so they're taking this forecast very seriously. Getting ready to take off. One plane on its way to Florida. And my flight was coming in on Wednesday to Tampa, so I decided to change it and go home when they were going home, my, my daughter and my grandchildren carries a multitude of thoughts. And um, we have elderly neighbors who are family. As it lands, many of the passengers must brace for the landfall of Hurricane Milton as their trip to Rhode Island comes to an end. We're getting thrown right into the thick of it, so we've got to worry about getting gas. We've got to worry about getting propane. I actually ended up going to the Portuguese market and buying my food and, and packing it because um, the grocery stores are closing. Yes, I miss Helene. I was in Europe, but my husband is there now and the shutters are up and um, the house is very dark, he tells me, and now we are just waiting to be safe. 
These are all people on Southwest Flight 3670 with service from Rhode Island to Tampa. An almost three hour flight, one of multiple leaving TF Green International Airport today heading to the Sunshine State. For many passengers, this time when they get home, another journey starts. And we have all the stuff, water, bread, milk, and hopefully when I get home, I'll kind of see everything else because I do have two pets and they're small, but to be there to protect them. And also met travelers coming back from Orlando today. They changed their flights to beat the weather and get here a day earlier. If you have travel plans this week, experts say the best thing to do is check in with your airline directly before heading to the airport. Reporting in Warwick, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.